What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, I got a crazy one for you today. A real crazy one. Or I should say it was a crazy question, but it got me to thinking. If the MIB Master Toy Museum was on fire, was on fire, and it was being destroyed, what would some of my favorite carded G.I. Joe figures, this question is crazy, this question was posed to me, so I'm going to try to answer it in a, in a video. What G.I. Joe carded figures would I try to save? Uh, I guess some of my favorite G.I. Joe carded figures. And because I simply couldn't rescue all of my like absolute favorites, I had to I had to, you know, slim it down a little bit. And um this could actually be a two parter. <laughs> But I had to slim it down and and pick some of the ones that really stick out in my mind uh, when I'm here in a museum. When I want to just uh, hang out in, in a museum and just look at some of my G.I. Joes. Um, these are these are always readily available uh, to me because um, I love them that much. It's just the way they're packaged. It's it's the way that they're, you know, they're posed inside of their, on their cards, um, their uniforms, their, their weapons, you know, you name it. But these are some of the, the G.I. Joes. If I absolutely had to, to run into the, the MIB Master Toy Museum when it's, it w when it was on fire, and have to save as many G.I. Joe carded figures as I could. Uh, these would be the ones that will would be packed in a special case that I could just grab and go. A fellow collector and I were talking the other day, and he said, Man, you know, you have so many G.I. Joes. How on earth could you possibly? you know, have a favorite, you know, or if you do, what are some of your favorites? And I, and I told him, you're right. It's, it's, it's extremely hard when you have well over a thousand plus GI Joes. It's hard to pick a favorite. Um, I have a, a small story with all of these, these figures. And yes, my Sinbad is, is a part of the adventure team. This is a very hard to find, very difficult um, figure to uh, obtain. And generally, when you find them, they want to—they they want so much for these guys on eBay and these other places. But these are some of my absolute. Um, I can't live without these particular figures in my collection type action figures. My Texas Ranger Manhunt. I haven't even dusted these guys off yet. You can say that you can see that they're out there. You know, they're not under a lot of protective covering or anything. Cause I, I enjoy looking at them. I need to start dusting these guys. I, I have them out now. I guess I can dust them off, huh? But um, this particular one right here, my Texas Ranger uh, Manhunt. Uh, this, this figure is just so cool. Fantastic figure. I only have one. He's another very, very difficult figure to obtain. Very expensive on eBay. If you can find this guy 
for around 60 or $70. Grab them because it's, it's very rare. And as you can see, ours is MIB mint condition, C10 museum quality. So he's, he's, he's extremely rare. And if you can find two, you're extremely blessed. <laughs> Very difficult to find. Here's my uh, my state trooper. Another absolute gorgeous G.I. Joe. Um, this was coming down in <clears throat> the late stages of of uh, the G.I. Joe 12 inch rain. The state trooper was actually one of the last G.I. Joe's around 2004, early 2005 that was produced. Um, so he was like one of those last figures. Very difficult to find. I found this guy at a Target. Not a Walmart, not a Toys R Us. Um, they were all sold out for this figure. This figure was extremely hard to find. Found him at a Target one night. I was doing some shopping. Over, over, well over a decade and a half ago. So it was, it's, it's been so long. Got the slide action on the, got the clip there on the pistol. Um, everything about this figure was just is absolutely fantastic. The shotgun here. Um, beautifully made. Down to his riding boots there. It's a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous figure. And these are some of the figures that I absolutely, positively, I, I, I can't part with um, under any circumstances. Uh, I've been offered... Um, money for all of these figures, but um, I, I don't. I don't sell my figures. Um, they're literally they are museum pieces and family members at this point. Um, I've had some of these figures for well over twenty years, and others not so long. But like I said, each figure has a story to tell. That I could actually share with you, you know, about each of these figures, where what, where I was at, what was going on during that time period in my life. This is from Walmart, my emergency crash crew. Um, I, I'm just a huge uh, um, fireman fan, firefighter fan. Uh, what what those uh, men and women do. You know, on a daily basis, um, putting their lives on the line is is, is always um, I've always been proud of, and to have um, these beautiful GI Joe figures in their likeness is fantastic. He's got the the jaws of life there in his hand. Just a uh, beautiful. There's his helmet, big beautiful helmet visor. I love these boots. Absolutely beautiful. He's one of my favorites um, out of my um, firefighters. And he's one of the few that I have on card. I have a few more, but he's um, he's just one of my favorites. So if, if I had to run in here and the, the museum was on fire, um, like I said, uh, this is one that I would I would pick up and and run out with. I hate to think like that. I mean, because uh, I know I and I guys, I, yes, the collection is insured, <laughs> but you know we all know it's not about money. Uh, when you have a collection this size, and any any collector can tell you, it's it's never about the money. It's about the memories. It's about the emotional, psychological attachment um, to these to figures that you've had for over thirty years, 
some cases 40 years, in some collectors' cases 50 years. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it's all about memories. And a, a, you know, an insurance check could never replace that. Absolutely never. Um, I told the story um, maybe a year, maybe two years ago. Uh, oh, I say um, on on my vi on my channel, I told the the, the story about um, uh, my home being broken into, and I was at I was at work, and this is before my I had the the, the location I have now in my muse for my museum. I kept everything in a very large master bedroom. One master bed drove my wife crazy. Uh, she wanted that bedroom for other reasons. <laughs> But the burglars broke in and they kicked the door in where my collection was located at. And I'll show you how long ago this was. I, the collection wasn't, obviously the collection wasn't that big. Uh, my G.I. Joe collection dominated at that time. So they didn't, they literally did not take anything. They looked at, they didn't probably didn't know what they were looking at. But uh, the detectives that did the, um, was doing the uh, investigative work uh, on a situation for me. They said they just, they just really, they, one guy was like, uh, one detective was like, they literally did not know what they were looking at. And, they, and because of the sheer size of your collection, there was no way. They were going to be able to move that with any time frame. It would just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have allowed them to do it. It was just so much, and that's it. So it's you know, thank God that my collection was actually so massive and so huge. It was really a deterrent from from the guy from the the thieves from you know robbers from taking it. So that was that that was always that sticks in my mind. A lot. Um, we've naturally, in the last oh my goodness, decade or so, we've upgraded security. The museum has been re put in a, re a, a location that I I could never share with you guys. It's like Fort Knox now, guys. <laughs> But things happen. Things happen. We're looking at my my Air Force Special Forces GI Joe. This is another figure that is absolutely gorgeous. Another figure that I would have to save if the museum was on fire. Absolutely have to save it. Beautiful. Got the gung ho grip hands. Look at the the weapon here. The weapon of choice. Um, beautiful outfit. He's got a it's, he's got a hood back here. Look at the headgear. Got the boom the, the mic here. Beautiful head sculpt. Absolutely gorgeous. Could never part with it. Under any circumstances. We're looking at my urban camo, GI Joe. carded figure these cards themselves were works of art this was a right around i think 2001 right after 9 11 um hasbro changed their packaging as you can see the the american flag back there right after 9 11 absolutely gorgeous figure came with a ton of gear and this is dog tags ready for for urban war there's his helmet um the display on these cards carded figures is just absolutely beautiful the, the display packaging the way they did it could never part with these guys it's just beautiful guys we want your your comments your thoughts your opinions um what are some of the, your favorite collectibles that you couldn't part with it if you're, if, you know, if a, a horrible situation, crisis had arose, and you had only 
a few minutes to make a decision. What are some of the collectibles you would pack up and 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 get out of get out of dodge with? <laughs> we want to hear all of that. These are a few of mine. And I say a few because I mean I I, I could have this could be like a ten part video. If you know, but you can't I the question was posed to me and it said you can't save everything. So I said, okay. So all right, well if I couldn't save everything, these guys will come with me. This is my G.I. Joe Adventures of G.I. Joe. Not the Venture Team, not yet. It was still called the Adventures of G.I. Joe. And this is uh, my Trouble at Prosperity Bank, G.I. Joe. He's got the gun, he's got the shotgun over there. Once again, um, our men and women in uniform our officers, 